Hello again, Pioneers. Welcome to episode 17. We finished our turbo fuel plant last episode. Well, we're kind of in a funk. I'm not sure what to do here. I, I cut out this, let the mana ray fly through here. I don't think it's clipping now, so we might build around that shape. I moved the hyper tube that was over there just to here. I was messing around with the idea of a uh, second, a second train floor here. Still have a lot of room underneath too. Still gassy. Speaking of which, I made some of these. Did I use them all? Some gas novelists. We're messing with those. Kind of fun. Um, what else did I get done? We got a very lame high-speed connector. And I'm kind of at a f strange spot in the game where it's... I'm kind of glad I didn't build out too much decoration and stuff on the buildings. Because I think it's time to really revamp everything. And I need to decide if I'm going to do... Um, sort of a mega factory, which I don't really want to do. I'd rather have kind of modular ones, but we're going to change a lot up. We have all the coal stuff there still. I don't know if I'm going to keep those power plants. Kind of rather use that coal for other stuff. I'll go show you the little high-speed connector setup I made. I'm thinking what I want to do is just get uh, some some of these set up but not like very well d designed just kind of cheap easy slap together ones to start making these automated in the background uh, so that's what I was kind of thinking about uh, for the high speed connectors we're using this recipe um, so we're making the circuit boards with the uh, Silica and copper pipe, a little extra silica for this, and then the quick wire we actually upgraded the line since we didn't have Mark V when we made it. Um, but then I'm trying to determine like radio control unit. We have an alternate recipe, but I don't know that I want to use it. So here's the regular one casing, crystal oscillator, computer. This one's no computer. It's circuit board and rubber. Usually lean towards the alternates, but I'm thinking this one might be easier for us on production. So I might set up a small one of these, just a regular. And then I want to get a super computer going also. I was just looking online for the <clears throat> alternates of this. There's the OC supercomputer, which uses a radio control unit and cooling system so that could be good but we're pretty far away from cooling systems um, and there's super state computer that uses computers electromagnetic control rod which we haven't started making at all battery and wire so we may end up just doing this plain one I don't know if we have enough um, I'll have to go look I think we're only making like three of these a minute which is why this was underclocked. I was kind of messing with some numbers. He'll probably be running something like that. I also don't know how many uh, computers we have. Plastic should be fine. We can grab what we're making down there. We we'll just have to transport it over. Um, so let's go look at the... I just want to look at this, too. The one thing I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but... Yeah, we can't even make these for the one recipe unless we can unlock this. Uh, what am I looking for? These, which is pretty far away. But it's kind of nice if you can unlock the MK3 miners. When you want to do a big production change, but we might just set these up with the MK2s we have. And what I'm sort of thinking is, I, I really don't, this is going to take some 
planning and design, but I kind of want to almost tear down nearly everything and just sort of reset up certain areas. I think we'll keep most of this for now, but this whole area can kind of go. I've got tons of containers of smart plating backed up and sinking. This I want to change eventually, but we'll probably leave it for a bit. I don't know. I need to decide what I'm doing. Also kind of thinking of doing a big... Um, big network where we sort of take all the raw mines where they are to either move the ore or convert them that nearby I don't know start using some of the refinery recipes we have for uh, all the metal ingot stuff we have these three we could be using these are great ways to make big numbers they take a bit more power but the water stretches with the ore out a lot further so that's another option of kind of what I'm thinking of doing is maybe making metal refineries area and then either shipping those back out to the factories or making some basic parts, shipping those out, I don't know. A lot of planning and design to do. Uh, where's this high speed connector? This is a pretty janky setup. So all we did was took this copper wire floor, the wire that's not been used. We reset these three to sheets. So we're making like 30, 30 a minute. Just set a separate little line pulling off from these three down. Uh, that kind of goes down here. Got a sink set up for overflow. The silica, we had that other constructor next to the one we were already using. So we just uh, went ahead and hooked that up and did this long, ridiculous line to move it over, over towards that copper factory. But, um, should have added another machine, but we already had all this stuff in the way, so we're overclocked here to get what we need. 67.5. Since this line's completely split off, the number should be good. This is the one going over there. This one's feeding the uh, concrete alternate in that factory. And then we up this a little to catch up to that. It's still uh, Still got a ton more potential, so which is another reason to want to kind of redo all of this area as well. So I don't know. I think we're kind of stuck with these like I don't know, if, not early game starter, but maybe like a mid mid early starter kind of factories, and it's time to really step it up a lot bigger before we can get to where we want to go. So that's those two recipes. There's enough to feed these. These are essentially one machine. They're just running at half. A little more. I'm just trying to match the 30 sheets we're getting there, which also equaled about 30 silica. We're going to be making a lot of extra circuit board. Um, 13.6, and this is using like barely three, maybe? Yeah. So it is a thought. We we have like 10 extra circuit boards going here. I got a setup for the sink for when it starts backing up. Boy, that auto save just about froze things. <laughs> but so we could use this. I was going to do another manufacturer, but uh, I don't know. I'd have to. I kind of need to build that. Not that I couldn't easily build that silica out more the way it's sort of set up. I don't want to mess with it. And then the Caterium 90. We still, we could have done one more machine. We had like 200 extra or so, maybe more. I don't know. We got that on the MK5 belt coming over here now. Just getting rid of some of that kind of stuff is what I wouldn't mind doing also. So we've made a decent number of these already. Um, I'm gonna 
on things like this that look ridiculous. Which honestly is this guy clipping through all this? That's not ideal. I kind of would like to make it where he's not clipping through anything, so. So I don't even know. I was going to write out some episode goals. I ended up just building that. And trying to think about what I want to do, so. Probably catch up with you here in a bit. We'll ride this guy over there, see if we're uh, safe on the clip in there now. Now, I could expand this more. I kind of want to make a battery factory here, I'm thinking. We seem to just avoid clipping through this. I think if we had walls, we might clip around it. I did make a thing over that dinosaur egg looking thing over there. D dragon egg, I called it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's see how we're looking. Oh, it's close. It's close. Oh, it's good. Clipping free. Can leave that one in. So this is a perfect cutout. Yeah, determining what I'm going to do with this base area too is kind of something I should figure out. I could build out further out too. Um, and I was also thinking of swapping assemblers for the. Uh, casings, because we have that alternate recipe. This one. I don't know. I'm just really stuck in a, I don't know what I'm doing right now, kind of moment, but... I was also thinking about a build, building a storage area. I kind of don't want to, to be honest. But it's possible we may end up doing that. Did not mean to go back down. <laughs> Go back again. So probably getting some just little basic of these going. Maybe even that. Once we have supercomputers, we can make start making these. <clears throat> so I don't know. We'll try to do some planning. Another thing I'm kind of thinking about is like, what do we have around and where and. Or do we want to pull things to sort of make some of these bigger factories? So, a lot of thinking to do. Hopefully I actually get some done when I come back and uh, have a semblance of a plan. At least more than we got now. Maybe we'll at least make this. So, see you soon. Well, we're back. We started making the assembly director system. That's what it looks like. Move the space elevator over here. And, uh, we left this cut off so we can just watch these stack up. We got plenty of backup room and then a sink if we do fill that up too much. But, nice to have something going in the background. So, to make those. I don't know if I showed you, I builded the plastic over here. I ended up just had a ton of aluminum, so we ended up doing a way too fast of a line, but that's fine. So I kind of just went through over to the rubber plant and then followed in along essentially the same as the rubber line, like right around it in the circuit boards. So that comes here. I'm going in here for our supercomputers. We're underclocked. I think I'm only making three high-speed connectors a minute, so that's why I'm just matching that. Which is just one a minute. It happened to be the perfect. Um, and then I think, I don't know how many computers, but we have some going to this. To these. ACU. Well, just one a minute. We're making like, I don't know, five and a half or something. So that's still fine. <clears throat> and then AI limiters, we do have extras. We're only using about 1875 on each of these, and we're making 20, so. 
Um, I could double check high speed connectors if we're making more. Everything's just kind of sloppily belted over here. So we got uh, smart, or no, just a regular splitter from the AI line coming in already. AI limiters. Uh, the computers, we set a splitter off the line feeding the ACUs. We're just turning into a jumbled spaghetti mess here, but we'll fix things later. That goes up here and over and in. And then the high speed connectors we kind of we've got right here. Sort of the same as the silica line. Just going the other direction. So There they are. Getting scrubbed by the Got a little pine tar on them. Couple at a time. So, anyway, wanted to get that going since I'm probably going to be wasting a lot of time trying to figure out what we're doing next. Figure, get some of these parts going and load, start saving up some space parts there. Was bad. Oh yeah, I don't have the jetpack. On. <laughs> um, but the supercomputers are one a minute. We have the adaptive control. Those are stacked up decently. I think that one's full. Those are just coming right up here. Just doing a lot of sloppy, ugly work because I'm fine with it for now. We'll fix it later. And then just a one assembler. Should check what we're making. We might be able to overclock that a little. Unless we want to save some supercomputers. One a minute. Never mind. So this thing will run out of those eventually. We could put it down right now. Really stack the supercomputers. I'm going to let it run since we have extra. And then I need to do a, a smart splitter off this eventually, but that'll be a ways away. These things are slowly coming out. Just gonna grab us some slugs to put around here. Keep an eye on these. So that's our waste of time for now. Not really a waste of time. It's actually productive since. It'll move that part along <coughs> and have us making supercomputers, which we might need some here and there. But I need to really f figure out how we're going to redo things. I th still think I'll go ahead and do a uh, radio control factory. Probably right in here with all the oscillators and stuff. I think we'll need to bring uh, aluminum casings over. We might do it up here. Kind of ride it on top of that line. So, I think that's our next project. Don't run me over. Um, let's look at our boards. So I did mark this one done. Assembly director done. These things are so noisy. So I guess this is our next one. And the batteries. Not 100%. Eh, we might as well try to get it. Kind of just want to get some of these parts being made and can fix stuff as we go here. I'm not sure if we want to move forward on uh, any of this yet. We could start making some of these. I don't know. Now we have supercomputers, so maybe we will. Maybe we'll get some of these done once we have these automated. Because I think I'm thinking it would be good to get here, but... Uh, we'll have to start making those. Uh, I don't know. I think we're getting ahead of ourselves again, as I usually do. So 
Let's figure out the radio control. We decided maybe stick with that one. Actually, oh, we'd need rubber though. Mm. I don't really want to make more rubber right now. We could. All right, well, I'm gonna think about this. Decide if we're doing the alt or the regular. 40 casing, 1.25, 90 casing. More. Okay. Well, then the battery will factor it probably away. We'll probably get this done and stop back in. Let's see how, see how that's going, so. See you when uh, we make progress on that. Hey, I just thought I'd stop in and show you this. Apparently we um, <laughs> deleted a uh, refinery here. So our rubber is probably a little less than efficient. I wonder if these pipes are still going to be. That's off. Oh boy. I wonder how long this has been gone. I came over here just to double check if I had any free rubber. I think I am going to go with the alternate recipe. Um, we have 12.5, so that's not enough to count on. I, we don't need a ton, but I figure we'll just make a small little dedicated uh, bit from this node. So this other node down here, I never tapped. It's impure. Um, or is it normal? No, I'm pure. Yeah. So, we're going to use this to make a bit of oil, or extra rubber. And, uh, we do that. I need a pump to take this up. Grabbing some steel pipes for refineries because I needed some and needed to rebuild that one, but yeah. I still haven't got the recycled plastic but, or uh, rubber, but oh well. This one uses that. I think we're just going to do this. We'll probably do the. Uh, Too. I don't know. We'll figure this out. This is going to be basic. We're just going to be doing like. Let's see how many we've planned to make. Probably one machine. And we might even underclock it. Because I might use those extra circuit boards, but I think we're just making 10. Uh, I'll have to double check by the high speed connectors. I don't know if we have a ton of these to spare. I think we could spare like one now, so. Let's try three a minute, yeah. We might have these numbers. So about 30 rubber, we don't need much at all. So. I'm just gonna slap together something simple here. I would make some fuel, but we really don't need it after the big turbo fuel plant, so. This is what we're doing for now. See you in a bit. Alright, we're back. Um, we got this simple oil node working here. Making rubber. <clears throat> I messed up and had uh, one of the petroleum coke lines here that's going into the sink. The lift was messed up into a merger, so it got backed up and I was supposed to make it rubber. And then that refinery, we deleted or were missing wasn't making rubber. Did it be 
a new power wire in. I didn't think of that. But I think our rubber is starting to go the rate we need now. We only need 30 there. This is making 40. We have like an extra 10 on this line, so technically we should back up here at some point. And even though I want to redo everything, we're going to make get these stacked up while we're waiting. Our first space part for phase four here. Got the slugs watching it. Assembly director system. We've made here. Might have showed that already. I forget what's going on. This is what I just set up. Finally got around to it. And this was uh, the uh, rubber line issue, which it's backed up now. It's good. This is running out of rubber, so. We're not running all the way. Three a minute. Just stacking them up for now. So. And that's good to have some background stuff going. I really, I'm gonna take a lot of time planning out where we go from here. So, while I think about things, we got these being made. 0.75 a minute. We'll have to lower it once we run out of those units, but I've got a lot of extra, so 2,400, almost a thousand. So, we'll leave those be. Um, let them stack up and we can keep them out so we can view them for a while. We have plenty of backup room and a sink in case. That's what's going on. Trying to come up with some sort of plan. Because this is just a... Really turning into a colossal mess. I don't know. I don't know what to do next. I'm going to kind of redo everything. <laughs> it's a headache of a project. There's still a gun in there. There's some quartz in there. There's a Samware in there. I wonder what that'll do in the 1.0. I think we might delete all these coal power plants. I wonder if I kind of redo all, everything that's going on here into slightly better organized sort of single building. We also uh, could get going on batteries. I don't know. Which, uh, Normally takes sulfuric acid. Get this alternate. What are they normally made in? Oh, blender. With sulfuric acid. I should have grabbed some of those radio control units. Yeah, with sulfuric acid and aluminous solution. So this alternate, I think we'll definitely do that. Manufacture. Mm, we're gonna need more sulfur. Which I have one of these, not all the way over clock. There's a mine up here somewhere, up there maybe. So maybe we get that and belt it down. I think it's a normal node. We have this one running full. Here we have 82.5. Could get 150. I don't know. It's not a ton extra. I don't know how much we need though. Probably not gonna go crazy making these. Until we advance to get more of a 
big battery build going, but I think we should have enough to make all this. 45 isn't much. We could probably even run it off that one. I'd kinda rather keep it separate though. If we keep a separate line on it. So battery, next thing on the list. Some serious renovation planning. This is why I kind of don't like to finish out the buildings too much early. Constantly change as we go, and then further the further you get, the more you want to change. I'm also wondering if we wait on Mark Three miners, but eh, kind of don't want to. Really like to get a big giant water pumping station out here with a ton of them and we could feed a bunch of refineries for the metals. Metal ores, so. Um, I did redo this. I don't know if I ever showed this. Not a big change, but we uh, had the alternate recipe for the aluminum casing. Well, this is underclocked. We, uh, Get rid of the constructors making these. And then this alt uses a assembler with copper added in. I was using 90 on the others, so I got about 7.5 more. Not a ton more, but we'll take it. It's extra. And we're not using these copper ingots at all, so. And then aluminum case is all clad. Is that what these are? So we're making 90 a minute. How much did this uh, battery alt need? Okay, so that won't be a problem. I think we definitely have enough plastic. We're using some for supercomputers, but that's probably barely any. running these at that so we're using 28 plastic there we're making like 120 we still have like 100 left over so that should be plenty to do this we have that extra wire floor and the sulfur so just a matter of getting some extra sulfur set up and then figuring out where we want to put that battery factory. I was thinking here and then if I ever want to kind of make this a little drone station area out here. Might be nice. Have batteries made on site, so. Okay. Too much uh, indecisiveness. I'll cut myself off. <laughs> Well, let's go look at our board real quick, though. I think that's the last thing I need is batteries now. Before my redesign time. Kind of nice to add some of these between factories. We have those in production. Just batteries. And we'll add offices once we actually make new buildings, so. Yeah, we keep. I really think I want to make some nice blueprints, <clears throat> make some big, wide walkways, and just a lot more kind of spacious, good-looking places. A bunch of lighting built in. Yeah, we'll see. We'll probably we probably will do batteries just just to get some going. We don't need them at the moment, but it'd be nice to have. In production, start a stockpile. Can use them when we're ready, so. We'll see ya when I figure the next step out. Alright, stopping back in. I haven't really done anything. Still thinking of doing a battery factory here, but. We did hand hammer supercomputers to get some extras. And we're gonna get this first. Uh, tier 8 milestone done. Milestone reached.
Uranium scanning unlocked. With the provided we buildings and parts, you can now power. set up nuclear power generation, which balances an increase of fuel which production complexity with improved with power you. output. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. Note, this method of power generation creates nuclear waste. Oof. Interesting. All right. We'll probably do nuclear down the line. We still got so much production stuff to redo. Um, but that does unlock some stuff for us. We can make these, and then we can make this other space part. Let's see. Uh, what are these made with? don't have stuff. What are we? Magnetic. Staters and AI limiters. And if there's better alts we should look for. Okay, and then I uh, think we have enough AI limiters left over. We should have staters. What was the other magnetic? Yield generator is going to require those. Our versatile framework and batteries. Okay. Okay. It could be something we do get our batteries going and start making some of these control rods. Make the generators. Sort of thinking what I want to do is set up a big uh, storage a little ways away, like not too far, but kind of out of the way so I could clear all this up. And then start figuring out what I want to dismantle and rebuild, but I'd rather I'd rather get some plans for what it is I am going to rebuild before we start tearing stuff apart. I figure in the meanwhile, nice to get some of these space parts stacking up a bit. Probably get rid of this. Don't get too much junk. Oh my. Why is there so much in here? This wasn't all in that tractor, was it? Oh, it might have been carrying it. <laughs> Let's go check on these. Might have had a hiccup or two. I think things are running all right now. I had kind of set up a start to that sulfur miner. Bring that across. Here comes a mana ray. How are these doing? Are we backing up supercomputers yet? A couple. Let's look at these. Nice. Got a good freeze. Getting some. Okay. I really think a big, uh, Melting like refinery metal setup around here is kind of a thing I want to do fairly soon. There's a lot of water here to use. Probably tear down all this coal. There's a lot of extra battery. Yeah, we have so much power excess at the moment. Geothermals keeping us bouncing around. <laughs> well, just dragging on this again, so I'll cut it off. See if we can figure out a battery production, a simple one that we'll probably tear down, redo later. Everything's just feeling like a mess right now. Like this whole factory isn't even being used. We could redo stuff here a lot better. I don't know. Sometimes the thinking about what to do next is hard. Or the dauntingness of look at these terrible spaghetti lines I brought in. <laughs> Things are just getting too messy and I don't like it. Uh, let's go check what the other milestones are. If anything's easy, we might just knock it out while we're kind of getting some of the others done. 
I should have grabbed uh, the rotors and stuff while I was there. Let's see. Well, that we could probably get done. This would be good to start getting nitrogen to make these eventually. I'm getting ahead of myself again. We'll need those to unlock this one. I'm going to wait on these a bit. I might get this done, so. What do we have? Ten minutes on the pod. I'll check back in. We'll get this done. Maybe call the video there and get organized for a better one. A better game plan. Alright, we'll see it. Alright, we're back. That milestone's done. We're gonna get this uh, advanced aluminum one done. It'll open up these three new parts, plus uh, nitrogen gas for us. So. And the resource well pressurizer. So get that sent off. Only two milestones left. Oh my. Milestone reached. The object scanner can now off. find underground wells, which can be pressurized to extract resources such as nitrogen, water, and oil. Nitrogen will contribute to more advanced miss the, aluminum parts. Did I miss the thing sent it off? Visually glitch, maybe. Let's see. We got nitrogen now. Let's see if there's any in the vicinity. I know there's some up here somewhere. I think there's some like around here somewhere. I forget exactly. But do we get any close by pings? This will definitely be a uh, train or drone type setup. Unless we want to pipe it all the way in. We got a ping. <laughs> it's that one over there. Oh, here's some impure, normal. Is that it? But there's definitely more than that. Well, between the two of these, I'm th thinking I'd rather go after this one. For purity, but also... Uh, Logistics-wise, I think it'd be easier. We can just pop out to the ocean here. Run something all along that sh top of the shore. And then merge it in wherever we're going to bring it here, so... Okay. Oh, that other geyser. Well, I'll probably cut off episode 17 here. This was not a very fun one. 